Hello and welcome to another segment of Two Minutes with Tim here at Heavenward Thinking. Today, I want to challenge you on Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to 30, and about finding rest in Jesus from all the burdens of this world and all the stress of this world. So in verse 28, it says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So we see here in Matthew chapter 11 a, a unique perspective on rest. Usually when we think of rest, we think of just relaxing, maybe doing what we think is, is fun or just stress-free, taking a load off by just uh, sitting back and relaxing, maybe putting our feet up on a couch and just, just relaxing from all the stress of the world going around us. But we see here a different perspective from Jesus, a different perspective here in Scripture. We see that the real true way to find true peace and rest um, and, a, and a relief from our burdens is by laying them down at the feet of Jesus and by taking upon ourselves the yoke of Jesus and, and following after him. We're not told to just go rest, do whatever you want, but we're told follow Jesus, be on mission for Jesus, take his yoke upon him and learn from Jesus to follow Jesus each day. Come to him, make sure that we're coming to Jesus, not just going and doing whatever helps us uh, by just relaxing, but what will truly help us permanently, not temporarily. Relaxing is good. Relaxing uh, helps us temporarily, but permanent rest is found in Jesus, where we can have Jesus living inside us, changing us each day, and guiding us forward each day so that we can trust in Jesus each day as, as all the stress comes our way. We can find rest and peace in Jesus amidst all of the stresses of life. We live in a crazy world with all kinds of crazy stresses. We have all kinds of responsibilities. But if we follow Jesus and do what he has asked us to do, he will give us true rest and peace as we follow him. And he'll be there each day to get us through all the stress of life. So I hope you'll do that this week. Really follow after Jesus and learn from him and find rest in him. Embrace him this week. Get in your word. Get in your scripture. Pray and seek the Lord who will give you rest as you pursue him. And join us next week for another episode of Two Minutes with Tim here at Heavenward Thinking.